Yeah. She would say those feet are funny. G'day, I'm Warwick Schiller and uh, I want to talk to you about talking to your horse. And so about eight years ago, I made a YouTube video called Talking to Your Horse and it's had about, I don't know, 240,000 views, 300 and something comments. And it was relatively controversial at the time, I think, mostly because people didn't really listen to the whole 10 minutes of it. They listened to the first three minutes of it and then had something to say about it. But in that video, I said, don't talk to your horse because your horse doesn't listen. And the reason I, at the time I said, don't talk to your horse is because the best horsemen I'd ever seen did not talk to their horses. And the worst horses I'd ever seen were owned by people who talked to them constantly. Oh, hey, sweetheart, how are you doing? Don't do that, you know, that sort of thing. And so I, you know, I drew the conclusion that you don't need to talk to them to for have them to be good because like I said the best horseman I'd seen uh, didn't talk to their horses and then I went on to give a couple of examples of people who thought that their horses listened to their words and I I was uh, doing a little clinic thing oh more than eight years ago because I told the story in that video but I was at this little clinic and I said that uh, you know don't talk to your horse your horse doesn't listen and the lady says my horse listens to me and I said oh what can you get him to do and she said I can get him to walk trot canter stop back up I said, really? And she was sitting on the horse at the time. And I said, really? So you can get your horse listens to the words you say. And she said, yeah. And I said, well, go ahead and ask him to back up right now. And she goes, okay. So she takes the reins, pulls on the reins, rocks back and forth in the saddle like this and says, back, back, back. And her horse, it did back up. She did back up. And I went, well, that's, that's amazing. But seeing your horse backs up off your voice, you don't need to pull on the reins. Just put the reins on your horse's neck and ask your horse to back up. So she goes, okay. So she puts the reins on her horse's neck and she goes, back, 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 and rocks backwards and forwards in the saddle and the horse does take a step backwards. And I said, well, that's amazing, but because your horse listens to your voice, just fold your arms and sit perfectly still. You don't need to rock backwards and forwards because your horse listens to what you say. Just sit still, fold your arms, don't move and ask your horse to back up. And she looks at me and she goes, okay. And she sits there and she goes, Back, back, back. Oh, Celeste, why aren't you backing? I remember the horse's name, her name was Celeste. And she, she was surprised the horse was not backing up when she said back, where she always backs up when she says back. But what she normally does is she pulls on the reins and rocks back as she says back up. And, you know, I'm not saying you cannot teach your horse a number of words, but it's not their primary, primary language. And in that video, I also, told a story of another lady that was I was doing a little clinic and I relayed that story and this lady said no well I've taught I've taught my horse to like in the round pen I can get it to walk trot and canter and I'll stand perfectly still and I said well you must have said the voice cue first then brought your energy up and then got your whip or whatever it was to encourage the horse to go and then stop that and she said yeah well I did that she says but my horse knows more than more than a few words like there's a lot of things I can tell my horse to do and I said well like what and she said well you know, I can go out in the pasture and I can, uh, I can go out the pasture with a blanket and I can take the blanket and hold it up and say, put your head in the blanket. Or I can say, get in the barn and she'll go in the barn. Or I can say, pick up your foot and she'll pick up a foot. And I said, do you realize that when you said, put your head in the blanket, you also picked the blanket up like this. And when you said to get in the barn, you also pointed and looked at the barn. And when you wanted a horse to pick its foot up, you pointed at the foot and said, pick your foot up. I said, if your horse really listens to the words, what I want you to do is go home hold the blanket up and say, get in the barn and see if the horse sticks his head in the blanket or goes in the barn. And then I want you to point at the horse's foot and say, put your head in the blanket and see what happens. And then I want you to point to the barn and say, pick up your foot and see what happens. And right then the blood drained from this lady's face when she realized, oh, he doesn't really listen to my words. But I'm, I'm not saying horses don't listen to your voice, to, but they don't, you know, they don't, they don't really listen to your words. But Anyway, the reason I'm revisiting this, and this is talking to your horse 2.0, because you may have noticed for a couple of years in my videos that I am, hey Chancey, how's it going? Are you good? Yes, he's a good little man. I talk to my horses all the time these days. Now, I don't necessarily talk to them when I want them to do something, but I do talk to them a lot. And one of the reasons is, is because if you've followed my journey a bit, you know, I've figured out that I've been shut down most of my life and I haven't had much in the way of 
internal emotions or energy. And I remember, you know, I was saying some of the best horsemen you've ever seen, they didn't ever talk to their horses. But what they could do is they can convey an emotion. Like I've heard, you know, like people say, when you rub your horse, you've got to rub him with your heart in your hand. You know, they've got to be able to feel that out of you. And, but those are the guys that don't talk to their horses, but they can have that emotion come out uh, quite easily. Whereas for me being shut down for a long time, in order for me to feel that, I've got to kind of say it and bring my energy. I mean, hey, Chancy, how's it going? Are you having a good day? So that's, that's the reason why I'm talking to horses these days is just because I, I, you know, emotions aren't my first language. And so that doesn't necessarily come out of me without me verbalizing, I guess. But I still, you know, I still believe that you don't need to talk to your horse to get them to do anything. And a lot of people that talk to their horse when they ask them to do things, like I said in those two examples, think that their horses are listening to their voice, but really they're listening to the other stuff. But I'm also saying that you can, you know, you've seen a lot of, there's a lot of people that commented on there were carriage driving people or people that maybe pull uh, logs out of the mountains with horses. Yeah, those horses are trained to listen to voice cues alone, but there's only a certain number of cues they have. You can't say, pick up your left hind foot. You know, they can ask and move left, right, forwards, backwards. Someone actually commented on that video and said, my horse, he, he listens to my words. Like if I say, don't climb a tree, he won't climb a tree. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm, I'm, but I'm talking about the positives, not the don't do that. Chance, don't go and run over the fence. Oh, good boy. But anyway, that's just my uh, up to date talking to your horse 2.0 thoughts. Uh, hope you enjoyed that. We'll see you guys next time.